All right. Jump Zero friends. Let's see. Sounds rough. Go on. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. <laughs> but that's my own baggage, Commander. No bearing on this. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate it. Yes, there is. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Besides, I've got my past squared away. Listen, you couldn't be any more of a whiner than Seth Green, so you're pretty much set there. Anything you need, Commander? We'll talk another time, man. All right. I guess that's enough with him. We should go down and talk to Tali and Ashley and Rex and Garrus. And then we could go for the next mission. Or we could go back to the Citadel and tell that command dude that his team's dead. And there's one more optional mission that I forgot to do. So I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Wow, are you going to tell me? What a dumbass. Why do I have to say something? Like what? <laughs> Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. His name was Bond. James Bond. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Sarah. My father's <clears throat> a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Sarah. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger. For oh, the same reasons. Really? You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. Huh. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Too bad. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't... I don't want to nail him, dude. I just want to fucking stop him. Trust. Jesus, you're getting ahead of yourself here. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. You better think about it. Think about it long and hard. Bitch. Hey, look, Rex. So... We've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Good. He's rotten. <laughs> to the core. I could tell as soon as I met him. Oh, what? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought I was important. Fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. Hmm. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. Okay. What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. Hmm. I had a really bad feeling about him. So I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. <laughs> really? What 
What kind of cargo was the freighter carrying? What was Saren after? I don't know. All I saw on that ship was food and medical supplies. There were some basic weapons, but nothing That's big. That's really weird. If there was anything of value on that ship, I didn't see it. That's why I didn't mention it sooner. What the hell did he want on the ship? That's weird. Whose ship was it? There was a Volus trading vessel. Big one. Lots of guards. But they were no match for us. Hmm. That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Wow. Every damn one. Wow, okay. So long, Rex. Shepard. Interesting. See, these, uh... They're optional things, but when you go in, you learn all this backstory about what's going on. Alright, let's equip Liara here. Get rid of that. That's real shitty. There you go, the mantis looks good. Let's see if there's anything else I have left. Oh my god, the shit ass armor. Here we go. Put on this. Mantis. That looks good. Yep, it's definitely the powerful one. Give her the savant. <clears throat> she had an omni tool. I don't remember. I don't think she snipes. I'm going to give her. I might as well give her this one, even though she's not going to use it. She uses the pistol. Yeah, this badass pistol is what she uses. Give her a shot, even though she won't use it. I don't remember if she. Oh, she has the best rifle. Okay. Do 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 do. I have to talk to Ash now. Commander, you have a minute to talk. Of course. I keep an open door policy. Anything to for fly, you honey. Have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I, I know things are different aboard the Normandy. She's got a big mouth. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Because they're not alliance. They may not serve the alliance, Chief, but they're allies. At least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Huh. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance? You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. Huh. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Standing up for ourselves doesn't mean standing alone. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members say now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. This is why I like this game. It's like, why? It's, I feel like I'm watching a sci fi movie, but it's fun. I get to have these conversations and everything. You've got a pessimistic view of the universe, Williams. <laughs> a pessimist is what an optimist calls a realist. Look, what? If you're fighting a bear <laughs> and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why do you feel like that? Because you're a racist! You seem like deeply held beliefs, Williams. What made you think this way? My family's defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, sir. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Hmm. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. You're lucky. I lost my family on Mindoir. Are you related to anyone I'd have heard of? Couldn't say, Commander. I read about Mindoir. The Alliance screwed the pooch on that one. <laughs> screwed the pooch? Bigger garrison. Is that why you're out here? To take the fight to the pirates? To serve the Alliance or to see space? No. 
The future of humanity is out here. There's so much we haven't seen yet. Yeah. I still remember my first field exercise on Titan. When we hit mud, the reality hit me. I'm the first person who ever stood here. Yep. Then my drill instructor kicked me in the ass. <laughs> face first into the muck. He spent the next five minutes chewing me out for gold bricking. Gold bricking? What? 